Hello there, peasant. Hello there. Oh, you're in my chair. Dude, no, no, this is my chair. Oh my, my goodness, see, how see, far can you reach number, that? It says number one, meaning uh, I'm the best around. I can and sneak and get in the chair from where let I'm me standing. Down. Ooh. <laughs> so, like, uh, hey, oh. uh, hey, bear. What's How's up? How's it going, Yold? It's good. It's good. It's good. So you're uh, you're gonna be playing some scrap mechanic now, huh? Yes, I am. Totally oh, fantastic. This, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome because scrap mechanic is an awesome game. I've been loving it. Been playing oh, it like crazy. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm so pumped to have you here. But uh, today is the first day of a new series we're doing on Scrap Mechanic that you are going to be doing as well over on your channel. And oh, yeah. it's going to be kind of a build-off series of sorts where we are going to be making vehicles or creations and putting them to the test to see who can make it better. Now, Yeah, kind of have like an objective every time. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we have a actual objective laid out for us today. Do you want to explain what it is to everyone? Of course. So today we have a bunch of boxes down there and it is our goal to make a creation that will go down, get the box and bring it back past this little starting finish line thing. First person to come back is the winner. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds pretty simple. I think we can manage it. So yep. we have decided that the timer that we're gonna have to build this creation is going to be 10 minutes. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, so we're gonna split off and we're gonna both go ahead and do our own thing. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and we don't blow up the world while we're trying to make it, but uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get to go do that. And then we'll meet back up here once we're done to have the, uh, the battle. Yep, sounds like a yep. plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay guys, we are ready for our first challenge ever all oh, this is gonna be so intense so i'm actually terrified because i haven't actually gone ahead and done anything like this before it sounds like it's gonna be fun and all but i'm really scared because the thing is with this challenge it's time based and i have yet to do anything relating to time in scrap mechanic and i'm i'm scared i'm scared because i usually take forever to build stuff and having to deal with time is a scary thing but hopefully it won't be too bad 10 minutes is a good amount of time and i think it it should be enough to be able to deal with the basics of this machine but i'm thinking about starting with the steering just so we can go ahead and get our vehicle capable of driving first before we actually start tackling the uh the capabilities of it being able to uh perform the task such as grabbing those boxes. But I think that's a good way to start by getting our tires on. Oh my God, I put the wrong size tire there for a second. Oh, that was funny. But um, yeah, I think I have a good idea actually of what I wanna do with this. Uh, we did have this idea planned for a bit, so we did have a little bit of time to prepare what we wanted to do with it, which was good. But uh, hopefully that means that I'll be able to come up with a good idea of how to make this thing actually work. And I hope it'll succeed. But I'm thinking that, yeah, the tires and, tires and whatnot are looking like they're placed fine. Everything should work for that fine. It's it's the, uh, what I have planned for this thing actually to grab the boxes, I'm not sure of working though. But uh, what I have planned is actually that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna probably do a claw of some sort on this thing. And uh, I hope it works. That's all I have to say, I hope it works. But uh, before we actually work on that, I wanna test out to see actually if everything on this simple car is working all right even though you know it's a basic car sometimes you can mess it up somehow just because sometimes the simplest things are easy to mess up but yeah there it goes it drives and it turns all well perfectly fine okay so that's all good and dandy we can run back here and get working on the uh the actual picking up mechanism so we still have like another six minutes, so we should be totally fine on time. We don't need to worry too much about that. But uh, what I had planned was actually if we were to go ahead and uh, put up a claw of sorts on this puppy by going here and actually building up a giant claw like right here, something like that, which uh, we're then gonna go ahead and uh, after we get it to a certain height, we can then attach another little uh, bearing on there and we can build another outstretched piece of uh, woodwork out towards there and then once we're here actually going ahead and dropping another part down here where we will then actually be putting a claw that will grab the box now 
I don't actually know what items really have traction in this game. I know that tires and stuff can actually grab, like, they're, they're tires. They, they're good at, uh, holding tight onto things, traction and whatnot. But I don't actually know if anything else in this game actually has good traction. So we're going to stick to using wheels for grabbing onto this thing. But, uh, let's go ahead. I first want to go ahead and actually, why am I building a chair on here? Oh my god, that's, that's my, uh, nervousness showing. I'm just building random chairs for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm thinking right there. Uh, maybe that's going to be the size. I hope that's not too big. But we're going to go ahead now and we're going to attach two more of these little things down here. These are going to be what grabs the box right here. And now that those are there, we're basically going to attach these tires. This is what I was saying. The tires are going to go right there and they're going to actually open up and squeeze the box, which will hopefully hold it in place. Now, we're also going to go ahead and we're going to bring one of these out a bit more and drop it down here to actually grab the box. We're going to do that right here. This doesn't need to have that there. That should be fine right here. And uh, now that that's done, we should be almost ready to go. So that looks like all of the building stuff is ready to go. All we've got to do is throw a, uh, a uh, controller on here and some buttons. And we should be able to go ahead and get working on all of the mechanisms behind this that should work. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly, but I mean, everything could go wrong as well. But let's go ahead and get attached all of these bearings to our uh, little thing here get everything connected and then we can see how it works hopefully we'll be able to test it out a little bit see if it works before our timer runs out but uh let's actually take it off of this thing see if everything is balanced is it able to drive yes it can drive very nicely that's always good which is awesome but now let's go ahead let's actually change this up a bit i want the i want this little arm here to actually be raised up so the number two bearing has to go clockwise let's say uh 15 degrees or something so let's go ahead and do that and see that yeah that's looking good and then i want both of these to go outward a bit so let's go ahead and flip that so i want these both to go negative uh 15 degrees outward so number th five and four so let's try that now let's go in there nope not that but let's go to number four let's go to negative 15 on both of those see if that works so yeah, that puts them both out there a bit, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, actually, maybe the more I think about it, I kind of want this one here out front. Uh, I don't know. Nah, that's not necessary. So uh, now what we want to do is when this button presses this puppy here, we're going to want to go ahead and have it so that this arm here drops down and actually latches onto the box and then we'll actually come back up so it doesn't drag in our way. So... We're going to go in here now and we're going to make it so after it close, after we press the button, it'll go ahead and it'll close back up, but we want to actually close on it harder so it actually it has a good grasp on our box. Uh, and then we'll want to have our arm actually go down so it can actually pick it up. So we're going to have that. Actually, let's go ahead and have it so the arm goes down, picks it up, closes on the box with those set there. And then after a few seconds, it'll actually raise the arm back up. So I'm thinking that everything there should be set. So if we go in here now and we press... Oh, wait. Is the button not connected to the seat? Nope. It's connected now. Wait. Is it? Yeah, it's good. So now what happens if we press the one button, it should drop down, close on the box. Yes. And then come back up. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. I really hope this works. I think, I think that's everything. Let's hope everything goes well. Okay, Bearzilla, I see your creation here is complete. Oh, yeah, the box picker upper 9000. Do you see this nice square front? That is yeah. not just for looks. That oh, is not. No, no, no. It's just to stabilize the entire thing. It well, okay, maybe it's a lot of looks, but it, it's amazing. <laughs> it's simply amazing. And you see this seat? Uh, only the most luxury of, you know, cushions. And oh, man, when I'm sitting on here, it just feels like. I don't know. A thousand really nice pigeons lost their lives to a really nice <laughs> What? Season. I don't think that's a good thing. But uh, I noticed one right. thing. Your little your little pliers back here, they don't seem to have any traction. I hope they work for you, bud. Oh, uh, no. They work don't worry. Well. I don't need no traction when I got, like, action kung fu grip. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. So, um, 
I, if you come over here, you'll see that mine actually goes ahead and uh, it's kind of like a crane mechanism. If you hop in here, it'll drop down, grip onto your box, and uh, lift it up so you can go ahead and drive away. So I think it's pretty cool. Wow. I think I think came up pretty I'm, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not as cool as my little grabby grabby thing. But, oh, okay, you know. yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but um, I think we might say it's a time for us to go ahead and put these puppies to the test. Uh, put our monies where our mouths are. See how this actually goes down. Mm -hmm. So are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, I'm ready to sit in that throne. Okay, uh, so uh, on the count of uh, go, you know? You All ready? Right. On the count of go, okay. On the count of go, man, on the count of go. Three, two, one, go! All right, oh my all god, right. and they're off, and they're off. You know off. the good old slow and steady wins the race. Okay, whatever you say, boy, whatever you oh. say. Oh, oh, I see some boxes over that look perfect for my little crane oh, here. Oh, no, 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 don't. That was mine. <laughs> you wanted that box, eh? Oh, no. Oh, my god. It got it. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Ooh, What's going on? Oh, oh, never right, mind. Right, that's what I thought. I, what I, I thought. was like, oh, my god. I'm going to get away with this so quick. That didn't right, go that go. easily. Here we go. I got oh, this. Oh, my god. This is the toughest part, guys. Toughest part. The box, if it can't get a good grip on it, if the shape isn't right. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, you know man. I mean? No. Th these are too heavy for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, boy. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh right. my god. Okay. Go. I got it. I got it. No! I keep losing it! No, See no, no, no. Later, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh, no, you're gonna win because my god, I get so bad at this. <laughs> Boxes are heavier than I anticipated. Oh man, okay. Um. Oh. Okay, come on. Oh no, the boxes, they just, they don't stay in the grasp. I don't know what to do in this situation. Yeah, they're pretty glitchy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh god, as soon as I get them, they just fall out. No. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Um. I should have thought this out better. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, man. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No. no. Here it goes. I've resorted to pushing my box because obviously these things are too heavy for my stupid crane. No, and I'm going to so pull a victory just like that. Here we go. Here it goes. And <laughs> did you get over the finish line? No, I'm on top of the stupid box. No, you gotta get it across. My the entire line. vehicle fell over. <laughs> oh, you can... oh my gosh. Uh, I know I've got to get it over the finishing line. Uh, I was having so much trouble with this, but look at this. This is gonna be what gives me the victory. And there we go. <laughs> all right, all right. Victory. I, this box is way uh, too heavy. My thing is just stuck. I don't know what happened. Our vehicles just—they didn't come through for us, man. No, oh. okay. I, I I lost. I'm not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Man, just look at this. This thing looks so perfect. Like, right, look. I'm coming. coming. You would think that that would be the most perfect thing of all, but it just drops it every single time, man. All right, let me every see. Let me time. see. It close up on it. Oh, you grab that it, is like, perfect. So perfect, and it would just glitch out and just drop. It was yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably <sighs> you'd need like an extra arm to go under it or something. Yeah, it just it didn't work there. It was a little to be unexpected. If only we thought it worked better. But in the end, it was okay because I pushed this box to victory and mm. I was victorious. So oh. I am going to go ahead and claim my rightful place atop the first person seat of this. Second little... place is just cold. <laughs> Well, you guys, I hope you did enjoy today's first episode of uh, our build-off series. I think it's going to be a total blast. We're going to come up with tons of more ideas. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be super fun. So if you did enjoy, do make sure to go ahead and drop a like and leave us some comments. Leave us some ideas that you have of future build-offs that we could have, challenges of sorts that we could do in a short 10-minute period. And 
yeah, we'd love to hear that. But uh, for oh, now, it'll be, it'll be great. It'll be yeah, great. it'll be great. We'd love to hear all that. But uh, for now, I think that's where we're gonna call it. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure to uh, do all that stuff. But if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are in the description as well as on the top of the screen right now. But uh, for now, this is where we're gonna call it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>